Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, excuse the little sexiness of the black robe. <laughs> no, really, I was just getting ready to go out, so I thought I would film. Um, yeah, I was really in the mood to do a really smoky, grungy, fall smoky eye. And I just like needed to dip back into my Jaclyn Hill palette. I've only got to play with this once on myself and I was obsessed. And then I had used it on a wedding that I did on the 30th and you guys, I was like so obsessed. I was like, I need to do another look with this. So I came up with this very smoky, grungy, fall, sultry, smoky eye, which is like one of my favorite kind of smoky eyes to do. And then, perfectly, I also got in my Orpha, Zanali, and Morphe lip kit. So I thought, what better way to come up with a bing and fall look with this combination right here. You guys, I'm obsessed. I feel like I'm about to go take your man. Oh, your dad. So I did film this video, more of like a voiceover style. Um, let me know how you guys like that or if you would prefer me just like a talk through. This way is just easier for me because I can just get ready and then I can add in my voice over it later and I can still push out content for you guys. Alright you guys, I have to get going but really quick I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means the world to me. If you like these kind of videos just give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe down below. Ooh, just peeking out a bit. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to see how I got this sultry, sexy, fall makeup look, then keep on watching. Hey guys, so with my skin already prepped, I'm going in with Fenty Beauty's Soft Pro Filter Foundation. You guys, I still love this foundation. If you haven't seen my review on this foundation slash first impressions, I'll link it down below. It still continues to impress me. It's nice, lightweight, full coverage. It does the trick. My new fave. Going in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. I finally got a good shade, I think, that's nice and highlighty, um, but has a nice yellow undertone, which is nice and brightening for my complexion. I'm first going to blend the center of my face out, and then to help me blend out underneath my eyes, I'm going in with Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer. I like this one because it's like a nice medium coverage, but I like the tone of it. It's nice and highlighty. Highlighty. <laughs> Look at me. Going in with Laura Mercier's translucent powder, I'm going to set those highlighted areas. To further set my face, I'm going in with L'Oreal's Pro Matte Fa Con I always say foundation. It's a powder, and I'm setting the rest of my face. Going in with Kat Von D's Contour Kit and this middle shade, I'm going to first carve out the deepest part of my cheekbones with my Tarte... Oh, this is Benefit... Jeez, what is wrong with me today? Benefit Hula Bronzer Brush. <laughs> and then I'm going to take an angled brush and further blend and contour. Hitting my temples, my jawline. It's all about blending, adding and blending, adding and blending. I'm gonna quickly, like a speedy Gonzalez, contour my nose. My Cupid's bow, and then take a duo fiber brush, and then I'm gonna dust away all of that fake translucent powder, and then further blend all of those contoured areas so everything's nice and smooth. The trick is, you guys, you can go ham on your contour. Just, you have to blend it or you'll look insane. Going with Made to Me Highlighter from Dose of Colors. You guys, they actually shared my picture on Instagram last night. I was so excited. Make sure you guys go look down there. Ugh. Uh, yeah, anyways, look how gorgeous this highlighter is. I think it's coming back in stock soon, so definitely keep a lookout. I'll link it down below with the rest of the products. giving myself a glow stash. <laughs> then I'm going in with Fago highlighter and then I'm taking that in the very center of my nose bridge. No, that's not the center. You know what I mean, in between my eyes and then at the very tip of my nose. Then I'm gonna take Max Gimme Sun bronzer and you know, warm up the skin and bronze. Up 
Then I'm going to take a spoolie, just comb out all the excess foundation that's in my brows that was caught there. And then with Anastasia's dip brow, I'm going to fill in my brows. Taking light short strokes. You guys, brows are an ever learning process, but I'm actually feeling better, a lot more, a lot better <laughs> with how I've been doing them lately. Then going in with Anastasia's Crow clear brow gel, I'm going to set them in place. I'm mush mouth night, you guys. Going in with Max Lay and Low Pay Pot, I'm going to take that all over my eyelid from lash line to brow. Tapping that out with my finger. You don't want too much of that product. And then I'm going to take Dark Deepest again on a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And then I'm just going to re-kind of contour, re-bronze those spots. Just take it in those deepest spots that I want. So there's a lot of dimension in the look. Then going with this nice and mustardy shade. Ugh, you guys, this has become my new favorite transition shade. I'm going to start to buff that into my crease. Starting very low. And then slowly sweeping it up. This shade you can take pretty high. Um, I'm still leaving that brow bone nice and clear. But you see I'm angling my brush downwards, well upwards, so it hits the inner corner nicely. You want to really get in there so there's no blotchiness. Then going with that nice red ochre shade, I'm taking it on a MAC 217. And I'm slowly going to add where I want the most depth. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color and then start to slowly get my shape taking it high into the crease, but not as high as that first like mustardy shade. And then I'm just adding, blending, adding, blending, taking my time, you guys. This takes a lot longer than it looks. I'm slowly adding color. Blending it, adding color, blending it. Now I'm just going back in with that first shade and then blending all the edges. I actually just took that brown shade, not the other shade. I don't know why I tapped it. And then I'm just packing that onto my lid. I want the darkest part right next to my lashes. And then it's slowly going to build up going up. You really want that to fade and gradient up. You don't want it to be too dark, too high, because then you look like you got punched. And then I'm taking a slightly fluffier uh, shader brush, and then I'm going to pack that a little bit harder and blend those edges. I really love this brush. It's a Sephora brush. I'll link it down below. I'm taking a little bit of that red shade again, and then just taking it softly on those edges. Just taking it into a fiber brush and dusting away any fallout that was there. That actually wasn't much, but just in case. I'm taking Urban Decay's D Slick setting spray. I'm gonna set everything in place. After that dries, I'm gonna take my Tarte Lash Curler and curl my lashes. Going in with Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, I'm going to coat my little baby lashes. I have little nubs, you guys, so bear with me. That's why I always wear false lashes. Not always. I've been trying not to so they grow. You can tell I'm flown myself. <laughs> going in with my Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Coco. It's like Rouge Coco or Coco. I'm going to tight line. I'm taking these Eyelor lashes. They're the Luxe lashes. Um, I actually really like these. At first, I was like, okay, you know, those kind of cheap looking lashes. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a chance on them. And they're actually kind of gorgeous. I just pop them on down in the center using Duo Lash Glue. The brush on, not the glue, like squeeze tube putting it down in the center with my Tarte Lash Tool. You guys, this is amazing. Not necessary, I use tweezers forever and then use my fingers, but it totally helps, it makes a difference. 
going in with that first shade. I'm just going to take all the same shades in the same steps and then repeat the process. Taking that first shade and really buffing it, going pretty heavy underneath. I want that to be nice and smoky. I want it to be really, really grungy. Then with that red shade on a pencil brush, I'm taking that on my lash line. Like I said, I want this to be grungy, but you really want to control the color. Placing it on with a smaller brush and then taking a slightly fluffier brush and blending it out is your best bet. Going in with that same brown liner, I'm going to pop that on my waterline. And then take a the same brown shade that I use on my lid and buff that out really make it nice and smoky. I used to never wear a brown liner, but now I'm kind of obsessed. It gives you a lot of definition without the harshness. A little bit of that red shade to tie it all together. You guys just repeat the process that you did on the top as you did on the bottom and you'll be good. Taking Benefits Their Real Mascara, I'm popping that on my lower lashes I really like this because it's nice and long lasting. Even though it doesn't claim to be waterproof, it's amazing and it doesn't budge. Ooh, and then going in with this gorgeous lip kit from Orpha and Morphe Cosmetics or Morphe Brushes. I was so impressed with this, you guys. I <laughs> didn't know what to expect, but the liner goes on so smoothly, like so creamy. Sometimes the creamy liners can be kind of a mess and they don't last long, but this truly does. It went on so creamy. You can see how easy it was for me to line my lips. And it helps so much to have a nice liner. Then taking the liquid lipstick in vinyl that's in the kit, I'm applying that to my lips, making sure it's nice and even. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. And then I'm gonna go back in with that liner and touch it up, re kinda, kinda contour and blend those lip liner together with the lipstick. I kind of went for more of like that ombre-ish kind of lip. I thought it paired well with the grungy eye. Taking a little bit of foundation, I'm going around my lip line to make sure it's nice and clean. And that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved this look and how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed it too. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. All of my social media links are down below. I love you guys so, so, so much. Remember to keep your happiness first. Bye, guys.